Hey everyone! Welcome to our mini guided tour, where we'll be taking you through all of the awesome features that can help transform your online events into engaging experiences that can rival even a live, in-person event. This is Remo, a platform designed to humanize the online experience. As you can see, we've modeled it after what looks like a physical conference room, with tables, a green room, and more. A couple of things to note about the platform before we begin, though. Remo has two main modes. The first one is conversation mode, where guests can move freely around the space and engage in private conversations with the other people present. The second one is presentation mode. This is the one where you can present to everyone in the event space all at once, like what you'd expect at a webinar. But we've got some cool, unique features that I'll show you in just a bit. When guests first enter the Remo space, they're dropped on a table and shown as a circle or avatar. People can move freely between tables by double-clicking as so. Now each table functions as a private audio-video conversation, so I can switch on my camera and microphone by clicking here and talking to the people at my table, just like if you were sat next to each other at a physical conference but with the benefit of not having anyone else overhear our conversation. Hey, everyone. You can also chat with people at the event. You can choose to chat with everyone at the event, only those at your table or any single individual by selecting the appropriate level of chat here. Another super cool way of supporting interactivity and engagement for all your guests is using one of my personal favorite features, the whiteboard. The whiteboard is essentially an advanced version of white chart paper that allows members of a table to collaborate with each other. So on the whiteboard, you can add lots of different things like text. You can add sticky notes. You can even embed media as well. Heck, you could even play Pictionary. Best part is you can actually preload these whiteboards so that all the information is ready to go when guests enter their space. Speaking of interaction, one of the best parts of any physical event is meeting with people and exchanging contacts. And with most online event platforms, it just never feels the same. But Remo's different. We've created virtual business cards for every single guest that they can customize with their name, their position, their company, their LinkedIn, their Facebook, personal websites, and even a meeting booking link. So you can schedule a meeting with someone straight away. Of course, you can use these virtual business cards however you like by letting your guests know how they should be filling it in, which they can do by clicking right here and then clicking my profile, edit profile, and filling it all in. But remember to save your changes. Now that you know how you can talk to people in a Remo event, let's move on to what you can actually see here. So you already know about how tables work. But did you know you can rename them? That's right. As an event host, you can rename the tables however you like. It could be after icebreaking topics, discussion questions, sponsor companies, you name it. You can even add in emojis for a little bit of fun. What's another thing you can do as an event host, you ask? Well, that's easy. There's a whole host of other things you can do. Get it? All right, jokes aside, as an event host, you can also post announcements that reach everyone in the event space. 
This is great if you want to welcome people as they come in or if you've got important things you want to draw their attention to. Just click More, Announcement, go ahead and type it all in. You can even add links in here as well. Click Announce Now, Confirm, and ta-da! Not only do your guests see the announcement, but they hear a sound too. You've got all the basic features now. Let's talk about how you can make this space your own. Now that you've got all the basic features of Remo, let's talk about how you can make this space your own. Every event is different. And here at Remo, we not only recognize that, but actively encourage it. So here are a few ways you can customize your event space. These rectangles on the top over here are what we call billboards. On the right one here, you can add any text you want, but on the left one, you can actually showcase a YouTube, Twitch, or Vimeo video. So you could put up a video about your company, a how to use Remo demo, or even a featured sponsor video. Speaking of sponsors, they're super important. And just because your event is online, doesn't mean you can't feature them in exciting ways. So in Remo, we've created unique sponsor banners. These are dynamic banners. So when a guest clicks on them, they're presented with a pop-up of the sponsor's advertisement. You can put in an image or video here, as well as the call to action button over here. You can also download a list of all the guests that click on this call to action button after the event for your sponsors. If you don't have sponsors though, you can still use these banners in fun, creative ways such as distributing downloadable content, linking to your own website, or even transporting your guests into another event space. Basically, anything with a link. Now for the most exciting part. Everything you see here is our idea of an event, but that doesn't mean it has to be yours. Remember how I said we encourage different events? Well, we encourage you to take our floor plan and redesign it for your own events. You can change the colors, the table layouts, you could even have your guests sitting in the middle of a beach. It's completely up to you and your creativity. Check out our design guidelines on our help center where you'll also be able to find some examples of other hosts' masterpieces and files for our templates that you can work off of. Have fun with it! Coming back to our bottom menu toolbar, it's time for the most important button as an event host, the present button. If you're ready to start your presentation, click here and choose whether you want to start now or start in 30 seconds. Now we generally recommend that event hosts use the start in 30 seconds button just to give their guests a little heads up and time to wrap up their conversations. Remember how I said that Remo Conference has two main modes? You've got the conversation mode, that's the one we've been talking about so far, where guests can move around and talk to everyone. And we've got the presentation mode, which is the one where you can present to everyone in the event space at once. So the present button kind of acts as like a gatekeeper between these two modes, allowing you to switch between them. So now we're in presentation mode. What does that mean? Well, all guests are going to be watching your one presentation. In presentation mode, you've still got all the features from conversation mode available, like the camera, the microphone, and share screen. But we've got a few exciting ones as well. Firstly, it's the share video. So if you want to share a video with everyone in the event space, you can do that really easily in presentation mode by clicking more, share video, and inserting a YouTube, Vimeo, or Twitch video over here. If you want it to play automatically, just make sure you click the autoplay button over here. Then click save. And the video will appear for everyone on stage. To remove it, just click the same buttons again. You can also record your presentation by clicking the record over here and you can download that recording after the event and share this with all of your guests.
you're probably asking yourself now, how many people can you have presenting at the same time? That's a great question. And the answer is, well, it depends on which Remo plan you've subscribed to. So check out our pricing page for details on this. But I can show you how you can invite people to join you on stage. First off, if they're a registered speaker or an event host, they can just click the camera and the microphone buttons in their bottom menu toolbar. If they're a guest that you would like to invite up for say a panel discussion or a question, you could do that in the participants tab over here. Just find the person that you'd like to bring up and click the speaker button. That's the one that kind of looks like a human figure with waves coming out of the side. Then click yes. And now wait for the guest to accept the invitation message that you've sent and join you on stage. Angel's now joined me on stage. Hi, Angel. And we can converse just like we would in real life. Now, if I'm ready to remove her, I can say bye and click again on the speaker button. Click OK. And now she's removed. See, inviting people onto stage is as easy as ever. Last but not least, it's the Q&A, an integral part of any event. But online, and especially with Remo, it can become an easier and smoother process. Let me show you. Guests can enter their question here, and they can choose to ask this anonymously or not, which kind of helps them feel more comfortable when asking their questions, especially at large events. They can also upvote the questions that they really want answered by clicking the arrow over here. So you don't need to sift through the long list of questions to find the ones that people really want answered. That's all taken care of by your audience. And you can clear a question just as easily by clicking on the green check mark over here so you don't need to be confused about which questions you have or haven't answered just yet. Well, that's all for the Remo Conference Guided Tour. Hope you had fun learning about the possibilities of creating events on Remo. The next step is to go ahead and sign up for a free trial so you can start playing around with the platform and testing out everything I've showed you today. Happy exploring!